In your journey to learn ethical hacking or really any type of subject, one of the most important things you need to do is you need to take notes. Now, from the very beginning of my journey, I remember the first ethical hacking course I ever did was a practical ethical hacking course through TCM Security, and it was amazing. And the reason it was so helpful for me is I took notes on everything. But here's the thing. Taking notes is also super time consuming. And although you do learn something from writing down the notes, I don't wanna take that away. There is something beautiful about being able to automate the note taking process, having all your notes in one spot and just being able to work through the lab, being fully focused on the lab and knowing that you're gonna have some notes to refer back to. So what I created is a custom GPT that does that for you. I just call it my note taking GPT. And during my Pomodoro live stream, our study with me session, someone saw me using this. This. And they asked me, hey, what's that thing you're doing with ChatGPT? And I explained what it was, but it was a private thing. I wasn't planning on sharing this with anyone. I literally just made it for me. But because somebody asked about it, I have now added it to the GPT store. And in this video, I want to show you the entire thing. I'll drop a link in the description of this video so you can check out this GPT yourself. But without any further ado, let me share my screen. So here we are at Pwn Labs. Now, if you've never heard of Pwn Labs, you need to check them out. They're kind of like hack the box, but for the cloud. They have hands-on, realistic scenarios that cover AWS, Azure, and GCP pen testing. But here we are in Pwn Labs. And if we go to the latest labs, there is a brand new lab here created by the mayor over at TCM Security on creating custom tooling to explore AWS. Now, if we scroll through this, the cool thing about Pwn Labs is they have lab guides on how we can do everything that we're doing. So if you're not familiar with the lab or the technology, you can follow the guide, but we also wanna take notes on everything that's here. Well, let me show you how this custom GPT works. If we just copy this entire lab, I'm just gonna hold my mouse down and we're gonna scroll up and hopefully it's copying. Yes, it is, all right, beautiful. Copy, copy, copy. Now it's not gonna copy the images, but honestly that's fine for your notes as long as we have the main uh, proof of concepts and things like that. But I use this all the time on Try Hack Me. I use it on Hack the Box Academy and I use it on Pwn Labs as of late. So here we go. We can just copy, I guess, all of it. We'll even go all the way up to the scenario, right click and copy. Now here is our custom note-taking GPT. The purpose of the GPT is to assist in taking notes, specifically from learning content like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Paste in the full page you'd like to take notes on and the GPT will provide a .txt file in Markdown for Notion. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. I will just paste in that full lab guide and we will let it do its magic. Now while it's doing that, let's get our notes set up for Notion. Now you can use other things for a note-taking process. I use Notion. You just wanna use something that accepts Markdown in order for this GPT GPT to work, but here we are in Notion, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page, like so, and we will call this page right here, whatever this is, creating custom tooling to explore AWS. I'm gonna copy that, go over to Notion, and paste that in, creating custom tooling to explore AWS. So we have our notes set up there, and now the cool thing about Notion, if it would at least work, we can have a floating sidebar, which hopefully will work after this. And I'll show you some cool tricks I do in Notion for my note taking process. If we jump back over to ChatGPT, it looks like he is still analyzing, but there we go, they are done. I have saved the notes as requested. You can download the file from the following link. So let's go ahead and download our file right here. We have our file, we will open it up. I'm literally just gonna copy everything from that file, go over to my Notion and paste it in. And we now have our notes set up real nice for us. And over on Notion, we can also add a table of contents like so, and we can see everything in our notes. Now, you saw how big it was over here, all the information. Well, what Notion and really what the GPT plugin is gonna do is break this down for us. So you can see how much shorter it is and it includes all the main information that we need. So if we just look at this real quick, we have the scenario information, some information about the lab, the real world context, but then our walkthrough right here is just very quickly how to set up Burp Suite, how to configure the terminal, the proxy traffic, how to list S3 buckets, how to build the Python script, the sample Python go to handle requests, parse and output bucket data, et cetera, et cetera. Every time I'm doing a module on something like Hack the Boss Academy, this is what I do. And when I get to the challenge lab at the end of the skill assessment, I can refer to my notes and the plugin does an incredible job at covering everything I need in order to learn, but also for my notes. And then the beautiful thing, and I'm not going to show this here because I have things in my notes I can't just show to the internet, but now I could do control F if I'm looking for something specifically or really search through my notes and every lab I've done, every academy module I've done is saved nicely in my notes, good detail, all of the code blocks are there, all the PLCs are there, 
so I can then refer back to them. So hey, hopefully you find this helpful in your own journey. Once again, I will drop a link to this GBT in the description of this video and let me know if you have any ideas for improvement as you're using this. If you see bugs, let me know and I'll work on fixing it, fixing the prompt. It's a very simple prompt of just telling GPT some things like be an expert note taker, highlight these specific things, especially as it pertains to ethical hacking. And I really took my own manual process of taking notes and tried to train GPT to take notes, how I take notes when I go through things manually. So once again, hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you are using this, if you were able to learn something through it, or if you have some ideas for improvement. But look, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy it. Happy learning, happy hacking, and I will see you in the next one.